Hey Avon friends, today's video I recreated this eye look from our Campaign 11 brochure for the Mature Beauty and I used Avon products, some drugstore products, and a shadow stick from a legacy brand that you either haven't heard of or you've really just completely forgot about. So if you want to find out what that mystery product is, then keep on watching. All right, let's get started on this uh, fun recreation of this pretty, pretty eye look. Um, I'm mostly inspired by it. I'm not going to do something that's totally similar. Um, her eye makeup is, as you can see, is quite heavy and I don't, I don't need quite that heavy of a look today, but what's fun to me is the purple and the green eyeshadow. I think that's really pretty. You can see it better in uh, this photo. She has a really light lid and um, just that liner is just really, really, really pretty and something different that I wanted to try. So um, let's let's play with makeup today. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're just playing with makeup. You know, no, uh, like I said, not going to be an exact duplicate of the look, but um, we can certainly get close. And, and I will um, add in that really fun um, product. Uh, from a brand you haven't heard from or have not heard from or of in a really long time. So we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to start with the Precious Earth. Um, this is actually a bronzer and I just like using it as, you know, kind of a, you know, crease color. I think it's kind of pretty. Um, let's see if we can dot some of this on. Because her, like I said, her lids are really light. And she has, a, she has a lot of shadow in here. Um, I don't normally put a lot of shadow in that area, but we shall see. I really like the models that um, Avon uses, but I would have to say, being a mature woman, I wouldn't mind seeing an older lady, <laughs> an older model, you know in um, the Avon ads. That would be nice, I think. So, but the models are really pretty and I, I like the uh, the photos are really nice. So, so just laying down a little bit of color. And then even though I don't think she has um, um, an outer V, I'm probably gonna do one anyways, and just using the, these sold out so fast. I was looking at them the other day and um, I'm gonna use a, the chocolate, this one right here. This is the chocolate matte. And yeah, they're just, they sold out. And I hope they bring them back because they were so fun. And I didn't, I didn't get all the colors I want because they sold out. So just a light outer V for me. I think it, that looks a little better for me. And I'm definitely not using all um, Avon products because in all honesty, I don't really, I can't really tell what they've used on the model. So this is, you know, definitely some, um, some Avon, some drugstore, you know, and, and that special, that special mystery product. <laughs> all right, next we're going to take this, you know, matte shadow and just kind of tap it on the brown brow bone area. And there you go, that is done. And I'm gonna take uh, this Revlon cream eyeshadow. Um, these were great, I think they discontinued these and it's kind of, they're kind of bummed. I don't want sh shade, let me see. I need some glasses, Ooh, let's see. Glasses, this is shade. This is, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the shade of it. It's 7.30, whatever shade that is. And while you can't get these in store, I buy these um, at a company online called, I think it's called Buy Me Beauty. I'll, anything I mentioned, I'll link below. And they sell discontinued makeup. So I'm just gonna put a little on my finger. And I think that is really the pretty sheen she has on her lid. I could not figure out what that color was um, within the palettes that I have from Avon. So I'm like, okay, can't figure it out. And that's really pretty. All right. So here comes the fun part, the liner. <laughs> the liner is the fun part. 
All right, so I am going to use, I think it's called Purple Rain, or it's Majestic Purple. Which one's this one? This is, yep, this one's Purple Rain. Ugh. And it's this color right here, which is kind of bright, and I thought that's probably what she has on her, um, her uh, upper lid right here. And I'm not gonna wing it out, because my lids are, um, are a little heavy, <laughs> okay, fallen heavy. I don't know. I can't. I can't do wing liner. Um, so we're just gonna do a little bit of liner. And this color is really pretty. But she's not. She doesn't have it all the way over. So we're not gonna do that because I have another color that I'm gonna pull in for that. Because it looks like she has something shiny from the corner going into the middle of the eye. I'm kind of curious. I'd love to know what they used. Um, it'd be nice if they listed the makeup. Then I just take this double-ended brush. I like, I like this little angle right here. And then I kind of smooth it out a little bit. Because my lids are textured. And... I like to smooth out the liner a little bit. And then I can see like where I need to add more, where it didn't grab. Or if I just feel like it just needs to be a little darker or a little more of it. And so that's kind of what I do. Definitely, I'm not, you know, I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> I'm just somebody who likes makeup. So there, got that on. And then like, I think she has something, she has something um, very light, maybe a, a light liner here. And so what I thought, and it works really good. Are you ready for this? Cause you probably haven't heard this in like forever. So I have this eyeshadow stick from this company, Meryl Norman. When's the last time you heard the name Meryl Norman for uh, cosmetics? So back in the day when I was like 18, they had a Meryl Norman um, little out, uh, little store in, in a mall I used to go to. And that's probably where I very first had a makeover. And um, I just remember the makeup being really expensive and it just wasn't something I could afford. And it is actually still quite expensive today as I believe all the products are made in the US. So, so far this is the only product I have. Um, I'd like to get more, but like I said, it's, really, it's quite expensive. I think. I think with their eyeshadow palettes can be, you know, upwards of seventy-five dollars, and that's 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 hitting the <laughs> that's hitting the wallet. Okay, so here is this shadow stick. It, I would assume it's sort of like a Laura Mercier, is a Laura Bobby Brown shadow stick. So I thought this was a was going to be a really good color to put on the inner corner, and it's a shadow stick, so it's not going to be all that friendly to put in here. but you can see that it sort of does that um, highlight that she has there. I thought it was really pretty. I just sort of blend that into the purple. And that's kind of a little fun way to do it. And you you don't need this particular, I mean, I, I'm sure, I know you have this color. You have a champagne shadow stick somewhere, right? I'm sure you do in your vast makeup collection. So you just, you don't need this shadow stick for sure, but this is what I have, and I thought I would use it to get that similar sheen that she has on the um, inside of her eye. So I think that's, that's pretty. All right, got to that. The mystery product has been revealed. All right, and next we're going to do the green, and this green is called, oh my goodness, I wish I could see. see but uh, no can do. This is called Emerald Green. That is this one right here. It's pretty bright, oh my goodness. I always forget how bright this is. So right there. And I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line. Oh, did I, did I say this? Um, before I started, I tight lined my upper uh, lash line and I had to do that off camera because it's so ticklish to me. It just, it, it initiates my eyes to water and oh, it can be a little difficult to uh, continue doing your makeup when your eyes are watering so much. 
Now in the photo, she has this green really heavy on the inside and I'm, I'm not going to do that because that's just, that's a little overkill for me. And let's see, this is going on really smooth. I'm just kind of dragging it along and I'm gonna smooth it out because I think she also has, this is probably, she has shadow underneath here that probably extends to the wing. And that doesn't really, I'm gonna put a, a brown liner under it. I can't do shadow, it won't stay. <clears throat> it'll be, it'll smudge and be all crazy and ridiculous. And it's not really my favorite. Uh, I have to run some errands today. So I, I have to, my makeup should look, you know, not, not too insane, not too bold. But yeah, I just really loved the combination of the green and purple eyeshadow. I thought that was so pretty. All right, so that's on pretty nice. And now I'm going to use the um, FMG Glimmer. This is the one I used the other day, the one that sharpens itself. And I'll show you. I think it's just in brown. I don't think it has a special color. But it is, it's the black brown. This is always on point eyeliner. And I haven't used it since I used it the other day. So you just, you can't pull it off. You have to twist it off. <laughs> I have to twist it off. So you just twist it off and see it's already it's super pointy and ready to go. So I'm just going to make sure there's... All right, so... And I'm just going to run that under and smudge that out a little bit so that it's not so boldly green, but you can tell it's a little bit green. So I'm kind of going under it a little bit. I thought that looked pretty good. And again, you just put that back in here, give it a twist, and it'll sharpen inside. I think that's great. Oh my goodness, that is just so much fun. Okay, where are my brushes? All right, <laughs> I can't find any of my stuff. All right, because it's kind of spread all over my desk here. Actually, the desk I'm using here actually goes against that wall <laughs> there. And I don't have a desk or a setup, and I need to face the the window because the natural lighting is so good when they say youtubers say film and natural lighting they're they're right <laughs> natural lighting is quite um quite nice to film in so just doing that not bringing it into the inner corner and i think I think my eyeliner, my eye look is done. I think it's really, really pretty. So let's do some more um, stuff to finish this off. Uh, let me do my eyebrows. Um, I usually don't do my makeup when I'm all dressed. I usually do my makeup in a towel. And so um, my hair's all up and stuff, but I thought, well, let's try to do this a little bit better. And I had already put on I think I mentioned it this at the beginning. I'd already done my um, face makeup just to move this along so it's not too long and boring. Okay, got that done. I forgot my eyebrow gel, so I'll have to do that later. Um, we're going to do a little blush. I love this blush. They don't sell this anymore. Oh, too bad. It's, it's really good. I really do like it. Oh, before I do that, maybe I'll do a little contour. Oh, let's let's play with that. Let's do a little bit of contour. Let's mix this guy. I don't do a little con. I mean, I'm not I'm not a big contoury person. But we can add a little bit. Let me flip the mirror around so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I don't do anything special because, you know, I just want to look again. Just want to look put together. Nothing. That's pretty. I should wear this more often. I don't know why I don't. I think I don't because I think it's too warm for my skin tone, but it actually looks really pretty. Maybe I'm just getting some uh, color in my cheeks. So let's pop this open. This is, whoa. <laughs> and I usually take, this is a Avon brush as well, and I usually take the um, angled end. This is the angled end, yeah. And I kind of just dot it in there. And I, Try to be careful not to pick up a bead because once you apply that to your face, it'll go uh, flying. <laughs> and I just place it first to where I want it. And then I just sort of buff it out. I hope they bring this back. This is the prettiest, prettiest um, blush. Let's see. 
it's I don't know it's just like the perfect pink maybe it's the perfect pink for my skin tone I don't know I just I just really love it just think it's really pretty I use it all the time and it, I mean it doesn't even look like I use it all the time but I really it's probably my most reached for blush for sure and I just sort of flip it and just sort of go around the edges and you know, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, good enough. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on to eyelashes. Um, where's my eyelash? Uh, here it is. Here it is. Wait for it. <laughs> Hold on. It's going to get noisy. Ta-da! <laughs> I, I really have to blow, I want my, I want this to be heated. So what I do is I turn on the air dryer and I kind of just hold this here for a bit and it's going to get a little bit noisy and hopefully I can edit that out somehow. I don't know, you know. It's always a struggle editing for me, but um, this will be a new project. Editing out sound, uh, annoying uh, hair dryer sounds. So... Hopefully that's good enough and I just kind of touch it and oh yes that is good enough and then I do this because <laughs> I don't want to singe my um my eyes so let me see but this is how I like to do it because I think it just works for me it just gives them that little heat to make them like lift you know so there you go Pretty, pretty. And then I'm going to use my FMG Cashmere Mascara. This is the one with that crazy, that crazy wand that I'm just waiting to poke my eye out with it. <laughs> it's this wand right here. But the mascara is really good. Uh, you know, what can I say? It is a good mascara. Oh, that's like a smudgy. It is smudgy. No smudgies today. No smudgies. Yeah, I am 50-50 on buying this mascara again because I like it, but I'm not so sure on the, I'm not so sure on that wand. I don't know. I, do, I think it's a nice mascara. It's pretty. All right, and I think she also has let me see. Does she have a... It looks like she has the um, inner lid, inner um, lower waterline um, tight line. And that I can actually do. I used... This is the 24-hour uh, um, FMG cashmere. The cashmere line is really nice. I hope they do more um, products in this line. I don't normally do this every day. This isn't something that... I don't ever tight line my waterline. It looks good though. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> I feel like my makeup's a bit overdone. Oh, anyways, so this is the look and um, let me see, I'll, I'll come back in when I'm all kind of dressed and stuff because my hair's still wet and it's kind of a, it's kind of a mess and yeah, gotta fix that. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hi there, I'm back after being off camera for a little bit, had some lunch, let the uh, dog out for a pee, <laughs> my old man, and also did my hair and put on a little denim jacket to channel my muse here. This is a really pretty gal. And I think the look turned out pretty good. And I hope you enjoyed the video. But before I go, I did want to let you know what I had on my lips. Um, I did use the lip liner in Mystery Mauve. And for lipstick, I used Plum Blossom. It's right there. And I topped that off with a FMG Lip Plumper. I don't think they offer this product anymore, but it is really nice. It's a lip plumper that uses more light reflecting particles instead of um, a stinging uh, substance like cinnamon oil or peppermint. Um, it's really good. I hope they bring this back. I thought it was really great. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Pull out your makeup and try this look. It was really fun and that is it for me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.